morning sports fans ASMR sports back with another video that's very different from any other video as well I guess it's sort of similar to my bubblegum video but today we're doing applesauce because I recently had some very delicious um, homemade applesauce that uh, um, I got from a friend and it made me really want like more delicious applesauce but the problem is homemade applesauce is uh, pretty pretty tasty compared to probably everything else that's out there so what I did is I went to the store and I kind of bought every kind of applesauce that they have that is unsweetened um, although it's funny I'm just looking at this thing I don't think it says unsweetened but yeah it is unsweetened because it just says apples and ascorbic acid um, so I bought all of the um, unsweetened applesauce I could find at my local store which is uh, just a local kind of like super value affiliate um, so it's pretty kind of mundane if I went to like Whole Foods or something we don't have Whole Foods where I am but I, I'm a big fan of Whole Foods um, I'm sure they would have many different and better kinds but uh, I'm stuck in the Midwest here small town kind of Midwest so I don't have uh, access to much so I kind of got what what I could and I'll show you what I've got and I want to try each of these because, listen, um, is there anything more American than applesauce? Um, probably not. Probably not. Apple pie and Cracker Jacks and baseball, that's it. But other than that, applesauce is the most American thing. So if you're an American, then you're going to love this video. If you're not American, you're going to, you know, wax nostalgic about all of the things that you love about America as you watch this video. Uh, or maybe uh, you're going to loathe all the things you hate about America while you watch this video, but either way, you're going to be uh, very entertained, so thank you for tuning in. Um, for those who are wondering why I'm whispering, this is an ASMR channel. For those who are uh, wondering why all my other videos are sports card related, it's because that's normally what I do, but um, uh, the main uh, thing I think that people are interested in this channel is whispering content, so um, that's what I'm doing, and then uh, mixing it up here. All right, so this one you'll see is half full. I've kind of dug into this one. I, I I was hanging for some applesauce before I made this video, so I had to dig into it. Um, this is a Muscleman's unsweetened applesauce, so pretty pretty friggin' generic, kind of you know average to low quality brand kind of stuff. There, um, Mott's is probably the most recognized name in applesauce, I would say. Um, this is uh, no sugar added, they call it. Um, so let's see, it's just apples, water, and ascorbic acid. Um, you'll notice the color on these is fairly similar, but a little bit different. So this is also kind of, I would say, sort of, you know, a, a touch above, <laughs> like, generic quality. Um, and then uh, the only organic one that I got, because it's the only one they had that was unsweetened, is this Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz makes a variety of products um, that you would maybe see at Whole Foods or other kind of natural food store. I feel like there's like some settling on the bottom of this one. Um, so that's the only organic one. I don't know if we'll taste the difference in the quality of that one or not, but then other than that, I got a bunch of individual things. Um, this one, I, I had one of these earlier too. Um, so this is uh, unsweetened strawberry applesauce. I do like, I what I like is actually a more tart kind of flavor to my applesauce. So um, strawberry tends to do that. Um, I, I tend to like those. Um, this one I think is going to be interesting. I've never had a Granny Smith applesauce before, but again, because I like sort of more tart applesauces, I think this might be a good one, but we'll find out. Granny Smiths are typically what you would use to make like an apple pie. Since you need to have a real tart apple, so you can jack it up with lots of sugar, and then it makes a, you know, nice gelatinous filling. Um, this one is kind of weird. Um, I, I love peach. Uh, I will take peach applesauce over anything any day of the week. But uh, this this was the only one they had that was peach. And it's kind of weird because it's strawberry peach. And then it says 
um, a flavored applesauce and fiber. So they added fiber to this, which may make it taste weird or feel, have a weird mouth feel, but it's got soluble corn fiber. <laughs> and then some, you know, vegetable juice for, um, for coloring and looks like some natural flavors, probably some like, you know, that's probably the peach and, um, strawberry flavor to help the purees. So, I don't know, this one feels kind of the most like wonky processed sort of thing. And, um, yeah, everything else is pretty plain, but, so, um, I, this is not going to be a blunt, this is going to, what I'm trying to do is find the best one here for you all to, um, you know, go out and find yourselves, although, you know, who knows if, if unless you made live in the Midwest and you have a grocery store that's operated by Super Value, you maybe wouldn't have access to all of these, but, um, I'm going to, I'm going to give you my thoughts, and again, you know, I have kind of maybe more specific tastes, um, in my applesauce, and you may like a more sweet taste, maybe you like sweetened applesauce, I, I find it disgusting, <laughs> or, I don't know, I, I guess I have to say I find the idea of it kind of disgusting, because, <clears throat> applesauce seems very sweet to me so it's like the odd idea of adding sugar just seems like <coughs> so this is the Musselman's unsweetened applesauce again I've, I've had this before so I know what it tastes like but I'll have to remind myself yeah you know this is not bad I mean it's it's pretty basic um, it's got a little bit of tartness to it, you know. I just dropped some. Um, landed right in my phone stand. So I consider this to be kind of the baseline one. I feel like this is probably the cheapest one. Um, and, um, you know, it's not bad. So if it was all the applesauce I had in the world, I could get by, um, but you know I'm not in love with it. So that's the first one. That's the that's the baseline. Uh, by the way, all of these are chilled. They've been in my um, refrigerator. Um, this um, it's got a metal top there. That that feels kind of classy. Everything else is plastic on the top, so this is kind of like, you know, maybe like a sort of almost reminiscent of a, you know, traditional mason jar. Um, wow. It's loud. Um, I'll give this a whiff. I want to smell this next to the, uh, the muscle ones here. slightly different smells. All right, let's try this. I want to get a different spoon to go into the jar than the one I've been using to eat. So this one seems, it seems a little bit uh, kind of chunkier. Um, doesn't seem quite as uh, smooth as, um, as the Musselman's. So I feel like I'll maybe taste that or feel that, you know, kind of in the mouth feel. So I, I noticed at the store they actually have chunky style applesauce, so I presume some people like it, you know, kind of thicker. That's just, you know, again, that's my personal 
kind of. Um, preference if you like a thicker kind of or the idea of a thicker sauce and you like a nice smooth you know not too tart flavor that might be for you but for me Musselman's is the winner uh, between those two so now we're gonna do this one so this is uh, you know more expensive than either of those two Obviously, as organic apples, some might say, I would definitely say in general, like if you buy apples um, that are not applesauce, uh, you know, the organic uh, apples are higher quality than the um, non-organic ones. And I don't know if that's because they just sort of, I don't know, they, um, <coughs> you know, are, they, they get better treatment because they're, you know, higher priced. Um, or if there's something about organic that tastes better. I would say in general organic produce tastes better to me than um, non-organic produce. But again, that, that may just be because, you know, maybe it gets shipped faster to the store or they just take better care of it because it's more expensive and they're, you know, everybody's making more money off it. It, it may be that because of that. Okay, well, my first thought is this is the thickest um, of the applesauce is by far, and it's also quite, you know, chunky, so there's just really no liquidiness to this. Uh, one thing I want to check. So this Mott's, and again, this was the thicker one, it has, um, water as the second ingredient. And, uh, this one, uh, also has water as the second ingredient. So... This one has no water, I believe, if I recall. Yeah, just apples and uh, ascorbic acid, so it makes sense this is the thickest. Um, I actually like the more kind of runny flavor, or more runny sort of consistency, um, as opposed to real thickness, but I'm guessing the flavor is gonna be much more powerful on this because it's not diluted with water. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, it's more flavorful than the uh, than the mots that I just tried, but it's not. It's actually not as acidic to my taste, anyways. As the musclemans. Whoa, sorry. So. Not a huge fan of this one. You know, a little more flavor, a little more flavorful than the Mott's, but not as acidic as I would like, and you know, very thick. So for me, I would not, I would not want to, you know, pay extra for this. So there you go. There's the Santa Cruz Organics, just plain applesauce so uh, I think next I'm gonna do the uh, well I only have the flavored ones left or the individual size ones I should say this is not really flavored it's just a different apple <coughs> so yeah interestingly right now the Musselman's the first one I tried is uh, pretty clearly my favorite um, I, I have high hopes for this one because again I'm looking for tartness. Now the mots, the big, the big container, plain mots was quite thick, and uh, I, I, I was not a you know big fan of that. So we'll see um, where this one lies on the thickness. It looks pretty smooth. Um, actually, it looks like smoother than the mots plain. So I'm not sure if they process this more or if the boy. Oh wow, man! You know what? It smells like um, it smells like a Jolly Rancher. It's got a crazy kind of apple scent to it. Um, I want to see the ingredients. So this does have water. Um, Granny Smith Pure natural flavors. Okay, so 
it, it, it has some flavoring, but presumably it's not artificial. <laughs> you know, green apple Jolly Rancher flavoring. Um, but boy, does that really... That's incredible how much that smells like. Okay. Yeah, it kind of tastes like that, too. That's funny. I guess those Jolly Rancher candies are intent. I mean, that's they're green in color, so I guess that makes sense. I never really thought about that, but they're they're really Granny App, you know, Granny Smith flavored apple candies. Um, wow. It's a little it's a little weird to me that a candy tastes like a Jolly Rancher tastes like an apple Jolly Rancher. <clears throat> so that's throwing me off a little bit. I, you know, I could, I could sort of come to love this, but off the bat, I don't know. I don't know if I would prefer that to the Musclemans. So it is what it is. That's, uh, I would say I prefer that to either the other plain ones, though. So, um, I think we have, I think, I think that Granny Smith is in second place right now. Um, next, uh, well, next I'm going to do the strawberry one, I think. So this is, again, just unsweetened applesauce with strawberry and some colorings, natural colors. So I've had this one before. I, I think it's pretty good uh, for my recollection. settling around the edge there. All right. Yeah, I like this. I mean, it's just uh, very complimentary, that strawberry flavor. Yeah. Gosh. I think this might be second place. Okay. Well, last but not least, we got the weirdo. <clears throat> Strawberry, peach, and fiber. What else do you need in your life? Um, it's called Mighty. Good source of fiber. I do like, I, I like to eat a lot of things with fiber, like a nice hearty whole grain uh, bread. Maybe some, uh, you know, some shredded wheat type cereal. Um, grape nuts. I like things that have, you know, fiber. They seem very substantive, and you gotta have a lot of fiber to, you know, have a healthy digestive system. So uh, once you reach a certain age, you know, you'll find probably that uh, your doctor will start telling you, yeah, you gotta have some fiber. Um, and if you uh, don't eat really any fiber, I mean, if you just eat vegetables, you're fine vegetables have a lot of fiber, so if you eat a lot of vegetables, you're good. But most Americans don't eat enough vegetables, probably. Okay, well, this seems very uh, smooth. Very smooth and, uh, you know, a little bit liquidy, like all the other ones that have water. I believe this also has water. Yeah, water is the second ingredient. So, yeah, it's going to be similar to those other Mott's. Um, although, interestingly, the, yeah, I don't know, the Mott in the jar just seem like a lot thicker than this stuff, but it could just be me, not reality. All right, well, let's try this out. I'm looking for, let me give it a little smell here. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it does smell kind of fruity. Um, okay, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. Yeah, the peach flavor in there, <clears throat> I don't know, it doesn't seem super, like, natural. I, I know it is, because there's no artificial flavors in here. But, I don't know. Um, gosh, do I, I have the strawberry right next to me, so I'm going to maybe just do a little side-by-side. I think I, I think I do like this.
these pirates are growing on me now. Um, so I think probably this would be like second place. Okay, guys, I'm ready to I'm ready to rank. I'm ready for the showdown. Um, I'm gonna maybe move all the open containers out of the way. <clears throat> all right, last place is uh. Mots. Just a little too thick. Not much flavor. Very little acidity. Um, so, kind of for me, it's like, you know, it's on the wrong end of the spectrum on every metric that I care about. So, that's going to be last place. Um, second to last. Honestly, I'm going to say. Um, it's gonna be the Santa Cruz. Uh, I really wanted to like this. I would like to have an organic applesauce. I'm sure there are good at organic applesauces out there that I would, you know, like because they're a bit more my style. But this is not it. Um, was not a huge fan of the thickness. Um, the flavor was pretty good, but very uh, not not very tart. So I'm gonna put that second to last. Next, I think, is the Granny Smith. Overall, you know, does have a nice tartness to it, which I like. It was a very smooth applesauce, but the weird kind of Jolly Rancher taste threw me off, and maybe that's just because I'm not uh, experienced enough with uh, <laughs> Granny Smith flavored stuff. To the extent there's other stuff out there, I don't know what else there would be, but it just, it just, it was too weird for me, so I had to. I had to rank that one kind of lowest of the of the flavored ones. Um, then next is uh, let me take some of these out of the package. <coughs> next up is uh, the strawberry again. That's the one I one of the ones I had you know before this showdown. Um, so I knew it was pretty solid. Um, didn't know how it would compare to everything once I had all the ones out that I was going to try, but pretty solid at, uh, I think that's third, third place. And then, uh, second place, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put the, the, the strawberry peach one, a little bit weird when I first tasted it, but I love peach. It's got a nice fruitiness to it. It's not uh, as weird of a flavoring taste as those Granny Smith ones. So, um, I think just because I like peach so much and it was fairly, fairly tart, uh, I gave it a, a notch above the, the strawberry. So that was second place. And now first place, I, I kind of can't believe this is true, but I don't know. I like the Musclemans, man. <laughs> it's, it's simple. It's uh, very smooth. It's almost a little bit like liquidy. Some people might really like that. I tend to, I guess I like that as long as it's got the flavor. And it does seem to have a nice tartness to it. Uh, maybe they just add more citric acid or ascorbic acid to it. Um, but I don't know. I liked it. It's probably the cheapest because it's the biggest container. Um, <clears throat> so I was kind of surprised. Um, but yeah, I guess if I were to go back to this store and buy applesauce, I would probably get the Musclemans. But I got to tell you, this has made me sort of, cont I wish I could have, um, had some of the applesauce that sort of started off this uh, obsession, which again, I got from somebody who made it, and, uh, it was interesting because it was actually pink, it was pink flavor, or pink colored, and I asked the person, I said, oh, did you put some, you know, strawberry in there or something to make that, and they said, no, they just, they, um, made it with the pe with the peel, the red peel, I assume it was made maybe from local apples, too. You know, somebody's picked them from their tree. And they just, you know, they ground it uh, all together. And it was it was not like, you know, at, you could not tell that there was apple peel in there. It was just the color, you know, it was so uh, well, you know, ground up that uh, it just made it, you know, colored. So I was like, oh, interesting. Um, I bet that'll add some nice flavor to it because the apple peel does have some, you know, I think some flavor in it. Uh, may have some acidity in it, um, depending on the apple. So uh, 
I don't know if I could find anything that had a whole, a whole apple in it. I think actually that might be the best, but I, I don't I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in the store. And if you'd asked me before I had this applesauce I got from a friend, I would say you couldn't make it with the peel on and have it not be kind of you know wacky. Um, you know, like I don't know how wheat bread is you know <laughs> probably wacky to people who eat uh, you know white bread. Um, <coughs> but um, anyways, I don't know. I didn't find anything that was you know as good as that stuff. So I would probably I'm gonna probably keep uh, looking. This this is all from one store. So you know we have other stores where I am. If I've ever in a store, i uh, shopping around. I'll probably. Um, like I think I'm going to Target later today to uh, look at sports cards, but I think I'll look at the applesauce section and see what they've got and maybe do some more testing, folks, because um, this is critically important, as you know, um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'd love to do more stuff like this because it's just kind of fun, <laughs> and actually it's kind of fun. It's very, uh, it's uh, not, it's very, uh, I think it's very helpful to know you know what you prefer so maybe i would do this with like i don't can canned peaches or something i love canned peaches um i actually got this idea because i was watching a video of somebody doing this it was not an asmr video but it was a video of them doing this with uh, like uh, tomatoes and then i saw another one with tomato sauce and i thought that seems kind of fun because i you know i buy a, a lot of tomatoes and tomato sauce like canned tomatoes and i was curious to see you know what what would come up bet, uh, best so uh, that's what I did here. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Catch y'all next time. And uh, please give a subscribe if you're interested in this content or enjoyed the whispering uh, because uh, I do a lot of these videos. <laughs> All right, bye.